the uniforms, the handcuffs, the tasers, the food, the bed sheets, like every single thing that goes into prisons, there's companies that produce those that are making money off of. The more people there are in prison, the more supplies they have to make, the more money they make. And the prison industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. And some, particularly private prisons, have written into their contract that these prisons must be full or must be a certain percent full in order for the contract to be met. So this, then the state has a responsibility to fill those prison beds. In the media, we're seeing a lot of violence in Chicago, and it's not necessarily reflective of people's realities. But to look tough on crime, Rahm is proposing SB 1342, which will impose new mandatory minimums on gun charges, so that no matter what the circumstances of someone's arrest, that they will get um, a predetermined amount of time in prison. That if you're somebody who has a first-time offender with a gun illegally purchased or had in your presence, no matter whether the bill, is, whether the gun is actually loaded or unloaded, then you have a one-year mandatory sentence. You have to spend at least 85% of that time incarcerated. No judicial discretion. If you are somebody who already has a felony, whether that felony involves guns or anything else, then you have an automatic three-year mandatory sentence. We, some of our members have been incarcerated. Our fa my family members have been incarcerated. It's real. And it touches us and it impacts our communities in real ways. What we need is more investment in our schools. We need more investment in our communities. We need to support public after school programs. We need to support restorative justice, more community justice um, in our neighborhoods. What we don't need is more incarceration. Hundreds of millions of dollars are going to be spent if this bill passes in order to further incarcerate our friends and neighbors while we're saying that we can't find three million to save our mental health clinics. And everybody knows this doesn't work. People in California, there was a, an uh, editorial recently uh, in the, the Los Angeles Times where they're talking about how these programs, these mandatory minimum programs, simply don't work at all. They've gone down that road, they've got overcrowded prisons, they can't possibly afford uh, to do what needs to be done in the prison, so they've actually had a, a federal takeover, and they've got a real mess on their hands. We don't need that mess in Illinois. Bottom line is that we want him to understand that we're really not as community members in support of more incarceration. Those billboards are everywhere. We're not building a new Chicago. We're trying to save the one we already have.